And the U.S. military said its temporary pier built off the coast of Gaza to deliver humanitarian aid into the besieged enclave. However, the enclave has been gripped by problems and will now be permanently removed. ABC's Hala Gurani reports from Jerusalem. The International Committee of the Red Cross has said that it is going to have to make very difficult decisions about who it can and who it can't treat in its field hospitals in Gaza if there is another mass casualty event. This, as the UN says, that eight schools in Gaza have been targeted over the last 10 days, six of them UN schools. The Ministry of Health says over 80 people have died in that period. And since October 7th, 39,000 people have lost their lives in the Gaza Strip. This is happening as the pier that the U.S. has built to deliver aid to the Gaza Strip is being fully dismantled. Now, this pier cost $230 million to build and 1,000 people as well. It ended up being operational for only 20 days in total. And it is a symbol of the failure of the aid delivery effort, both from the sea and also from border crossings from Israel into Gaza. This is happening as the far-right national security minister, Itamar Ben-Gavir, has visited the uh, Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, the third holiest site for Muslims, in an act that the Jordanian foreign ministry has called a violation of the sanctity of the site. He has gone there to pray, he says, for the hostages with the Dome of the Rock behind him. This is the second time since October 7th, in an act that Palestinian groups have condemned as a provocation.